All right, since 2015, we've seen plenty of Donald Trump rallies. Large crowds, lots of flags, and Make America Great Again hats, and his airplane, often parked in the background. But not all Trump rallies are the same. CNN's Ellie Reeve takes us to Panama City, Florida, and aboard the MAGA boat parade. <laughs> We're at the MAGA Boat Parade in Shell Island, which I've never been to, so this is my first time coming. We were in the middle of the parade, following the lead boat, well decorated with all the flags. Fight, 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 fight. There's a contest who can be the most Trumpian, and I want to win first place. It's a weed eater motor. It's a 21 horsepower. It makes a very frozen mudslide quick. Trump is pro-American. He loves America, for one. I love America. I serve this country. I love America. We're from the same place in Queens, New York, so that's my homie. I live in uh, Latitude, Margaritaville. What's your most important issue? The economy, getting the interest rates down, getting it where we can afford to live in America. Right now, it's it's too expensive. OK, now, let me maybe ask like a slightly impolite question. But, you know, if you can afford a boat, you're not hurting so bad, right? Because a boat costs a lot of money and it's a lot of upkeep. Listen, nobody gave me shit. I earned everything that I've got. I'm retired military, retired power plant, and I am successful and retired and with boats, jet skis, because I did it right. And everybody has that chance. Whether they choose or not, that's up to them. I would never try to take anything away from you in that way. But what I'm asking is, groceries are a, probably a smaller part of your budget than, say, you know, someone who's like a little worse off. I think it's interesting that people who are a little bit more comfortable are still so concerned about the economy. Do, do you see what I'm because saying? Because I want my money to go further. I want inflation to go down. I want interest rates to go back down. I want all that, but it, that, that covers everybody in the economy. Not just me, not just the poor, not just the rich, it covers everybody. Now something I've heard from some people, tell me if this applies to you, is like they're worried their kids aren't able to afford a house or a car. No. I train my kids and taught my kids properly. They have great educations and they're both successful in their careers. Actually, they're doing better than me. Another woman told us that she had a good retirement, but she worried about others who are having a hard time with higher prices. Whether they were locals or on vacation, everyone we spoke to at the boat parade was in a good mood. But underneath, there was anger about immigration. We need a secure border. We need to do it right. And I like letting people in the right way. Can you give me some specifics on that? Like, how do you see immigration affecting you in your life in Texas? So I'm recently retired, but I was in the multifamily business, which was managing and owning apartments. And um, I see the effects of illegal immigration at my properties. So you're telling me there have been incidents at your apartment buildings and you've had to call the cops and oh, talk yeah. about it? Oh, yeah. So I've seen it firsthand. Most said Trump didn't do well at the presidential debate, though they didn't think it was his fault. And while they were ambivalent about his false claim that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are eating pets, they tended to defend Trump for saying it. Now, I'm not saying they're eating cats and dogs. I think that's a little cuckoo, but they do have a different um, belief system. They're polite, they're nice, they're not hurting anything or anybody, but it's just, I can see the change in the demographics. And not every town can absorb a big influx of population. Do I believe that actually happened or not? Have no evidence of it. Do I doubt it? I don't know. I can't say a, I can't say thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you think it shows good judgment on Trump's part to talk about it if it's not confirmed? I think it shows good judgment for every one of us on every side to look into it. I, I dare all of us to investigate it. But and like I live there, so I will. Well, the police say they don't have any record of it, and the city manager says they don't have a record of it, and the governor has now come Not out my governor. It. My no, governor. Dewey? No. Dewey has said something about it. I don't believe you that. You want me to look it up? I, I, I'll I'm happy up. to look it up all by myself. I don't know. Let's just Google it if I have service. <laughs> Google, that's a okay. <laughs> Ohio DeWine Haitian. This is something that came up on the internet, and the internet can be quite crazy sometimes, DeWine told CBS News. 
DeWine says he trusts city officials who have said they do not, they have not received any credible reports of such conduct. Mayor Rue of Springfield says, no, there's no truth in that. They have no evidence of that at all. So I think we go with what the mayor says. He knows the city, DeWine said. Sure. That's a great way to pass the buck. You think Trump's going to win? I do. What do you think? I think we'll be in the middle of a civil war either way. It doesn't matter who wins. Like he says, it's that polarizing on both sides. Ellie Reeve, CNN, Panama City Beach, Florida.